Ahoy and welcome back to DML. So of course it is new dragon hatching time and we have the clover dragon which is going to be done in like three hours time so we'll probably hatch him like tomorrow or something. But this dragon is such a pretty little dragon. It's the glamorous dragon which uh, looks very very similar to the vibrant dragon if you've ever seen him. They're sort of like brother and sister. Or mother and father, I don't know. But either way, they're really cute looking dragons. Nice sort of pastel-y colours as well. So this is an epic. The glamorous dragon is a pastel dream come true. This brightly coloured cutie looks like it took a dip in a paint can and seems to love showing itself off. My, my, don't you just love yourself? Kind of like the Aphrodite then. But void, fire and water. So I feel like I say this all the time. It's not really good enough for a, a late game team. But just adding these sorts of dragons to our collection, I'm a big fan of it. So we'll go and pop him over here or her in our only available habitat spot. Because of course we never have any space left. Haha. <laughs> he he XD. So this is little Voxy here. Very plump looking baby. Do you see that belly? You see that big belly? I love it. Absolutely love it. And this body type obviously has the little strutting or the jumping down the habitat towards the food which you know I think suits this dragon quite well but very very pretty little dragon of course we'll level her up and that will also give us some event progress as well thank you thank you game so we'll pop her up to uh, I, don't, I don't know level 16 that seems like the the average that we pop them up to but just look at her it's like a little dinosaur. I think it looks more like a dinosaur than a dragon personally, which is not a bad thing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, to go along with that, like I said, I have no other habitat space left again. And uh, we've got 42 million gold. So, to get another space in the dragon vault, we need not too much more gold. So, you know what? I think it might be time. I think we have to use our VIP tickets to um, get some fights done, get some gold. Oh, and actually, that, that means the Clover Dragon's done now. But it doesn't matter, you know. I, I said I was going to wait until, like, tomorrow to hatch him, and so I will. I will hold back. So this will help us out with breeding and stuff as well with the VIP, which is good. Good, good, good stuff. Rastafari's in the shop, not really too interesting. But, I am still on tier 8 on PC, we just need to win battles and then breed our elemental hybrids. So fine, we'll go ahead and do some fights. I don't care. I mean, if we've got the heroic mode fights with the VIP, we can just use our auto battle tickets. Oh, so beautiful. I do get quite a lot of questions from people asking, you know, how do you get these auto tickets? And you get more based on the level of VIP that you have, just in case you are curious. And of course with VIP you get more rewards for finishing fights and stuff. So, although I haven't put any money on the game in like 2-3 months now, we've still got our free VIP tickets which we got from the Instagram giveaway and stuff like that. So. You know, we didn't have to spend any money to get them, which is nice. Very nice indeed. So we'll just do these last three over on the side here, and then we'll go and unlock that next Dragon Vault space. 50 million to unlock this next spot there. And then, now we can put another dragon in this vault. So who are we going to put in here? Um... Calavera? Sure, let's pop him in. I, I really don't care about having him out. But the next spot in this vault is now 100 million, and I've heard people say that it caps at 100 million, so every single other spot will be 100 million gold from this point onwards. Um, I haven't checked the wiki entry for it yet, so that may or may not be true, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. But I have to say, very, very, very expensive little item. But, um, I guess we did want to take our dragons out of our inventory, and we've now done that, so we can't complain too much. You know, we got what we wanted, in a way. Although, I still want to be able to use those dragons one day, for one reason or another, so 
I really do hope that the final habitat space fix comes out like they promised. So, Game Loft, I'm holding you to this. You said that the Dragon Vault wasn't the final fix for the issue. So, next update. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it next update. If it doesn't come, mm, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. We need so much gold, though, because we need to rebuy our gold vault. We need to unlock the other spaces. We still need to level up our lantern dragon. He has been waiting for a level up for a good while now. I feel really bad. But all these other things that require so much gold. I don't know what to do in my life anymore. There's too much DML. Far too much. But whatever. I mean, we've got another 8 million back for now. Look at all these blue map fights. Do I have to do all of them? Seriously. And now for a quarter of a level up, it's 1.75 million food. Fantastic. I can't wait. I cannot wait at all. Well, you know what? Since we're here, might as well do some enchantment fights as well. Because we need to level up. We need to enchant up. we got so much to do. Too much. It's making my head hurt. Hey, do you remember back when DML didn't have that two times speed button? Do you remember what a depressing time that was? Yeah, so do I. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you were to judge how happy I was when they implemented 2 times speed in the Enchantment League and the regular map, it'd probably be like a solid 10. Out of all the things that DML have ever done, really? A level 67 here? Fine. But out of all the things that have ever been implemented into this game, I feel like the uh, the two times speed option is probably one of the best feeling changes that they ever made. Because, you know, the fights were always so tedious and boring, and then they just give us two times speed, and it was like the entire universe changed overnight. But the problem is, now, if you go back to regular speed, it feels painful. Like, we'll turn it off, and everything is in slow motion. It even takes forever for them to die, for goodness sake. Like, does, is this really how the game was intended? Just look! It's ridiculous! It feels so bad! It feels so slow. Ugh. I just... It hurts me. It genuinely hurts me to keep this on. Well, let me turn it back on. Please! Let me turn it back on. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. I can't believe I played with that for like two years. No wonder the game was like super boring for a lot of people back in the day. I mean, they can't even get through fights without it taking 900 hours. Jeez! Either way, I am much happier now. And although it does mean that overall there's less time that you're actually in-game, because, you know, you've halved the time that you're in-game, it it's just so much nicer. You get so many more fights done. And it's just good stuff all around. So, Game Loft, although... A couple of your recent additions to the game weren't too impressive. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I will always praise them for. Thank you for coming up with these ideas. And uh, making our lives in DML just that little bit less grindy at the end of the day. Anything that reduces the grind is a positive thing. Because, I mean, they took the portal gems away... They uh, made divines near impossible to enchant, since you have to do like 900 fights a day. So, I thank them for that. Thank you very much. How's our defense been going? Oh god, we've been getting destroyed! Look at that! So many red. Although our defenders are like level 45, right? Level 54, 45, 45, 57, 45, 45. So yeah, our defenders aren't a high level. But, um, so much red. 
And someone did give us Clan Dragon Power Tokens, which are the purple ones. So you can unleash your Clan Dragon's power for free by using up one of these precious tokens. So you really don't get to see them that often. So it's cool that we finally have some. Although I don't really need to use his power at the moment. But the Mega Shield on Gravelis, I feel like I always used to assume it was a lot worse than it actually is. Because the later on into the game I'm getting, and especially with Divines, it feels like, at least to me, that Gravelis might be even better. Because the first turn, you're going to be using your Bless instead of attacking. So the first strike damage isn't going to be used for anything. So I feel like since the implementation of Divines, that Gravelis is probably one of the best clan dragons that there is. And again, my opinion might change on that in another couple of years or whatever, but it does feel like a really good clan dragon to use. Brimstone, I believe, still only gives one gem, which is uh, very depressing, I have to say. But I guess, I guess they just didn't want to make brimstone too op but instead they just made him kind of useless which was quite depressing but oh well i'm still waiting for all the elements to get um i don't know just to become more equal and not have plant and shadow and divine be the most op thing in the world and again, some people say, yeah, but you can have metal and water and wind and you can do so much. Yeah, sure, but it doesn't change the fact that, like, 90% of the top level people have an autumn dragon. Or a dragon that is plant and shadow. It's just too OP. It needs changing. I know that that is, like, shooting myself in the foot, but it's just true. This game is not balanced. I could go in the arena with my Autumn and my Hermes, and I could almost guarantee beating everyone in Dragon Scale League 1 with the occasional, you know, Dragon Fury use, so that shouldn't happen when I only have two level 80s versus three level 80s. It just ain't fair. But whatever, you know, that's just me complaining again, as always, as always. So, um, I'm tempted to take this food out, but I won't. Because then I'll have to spend money on food, which is no bueno. But, you know, for now, I am probably going to leave it there. And soon I do really want to start breeding for this pixie dot. So when the event is over, we will start on him. Game, don't be rude. Give us the legendary. You know you want to. But for now, thank you very much for joining us in DML. Good luck with hatching your own dragons, event progress, whatever the heck you're doing. And until next time... I'll see you then.